family, join me in making this nice, super simple necklace featuring super duos, which you may already have in your stash. Gather up your supplies and let's get started. So to get started, we are going to be doing right angle weave with the super duos, featuring them in a design where we pick up and do basically two rotations of right angle weave with those. I have my super duos, my rondelles in the garnet AB, and those are two by three millimeter. 11 OC beads and 15 OC beads. How we're going to begin actually is by adding a stop bead. So this is going to be a bead that is not part of the project and I'm using the wildfire beige thread in 0 0.006 and I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail about 8 to 10 inches so I can come back and add the clasp. Now you can do the larger version of this right angle weave, the whole design. I'm going to start out with just a nice simple chain look for the first about three inches so that way when I get to the front I have the more concentrated look on this. To begin I want you to pick up a super duo and I'm using the opaque red Picasso color followed by a 15-0 and that is the Duracoat galvanized pewter followed by 11 OCB which is the extra dark topaz followed by a crystal 11, 15. So you're going basically from smallest to biggest, another super duo gets added, and then the same rotation. 15, 11, crystal, 11, 15. We're going to round this out in a right angle weave pattern, meaning that we're going back through that same hole of the super duo. We're going to go back through our first seed bead crystal and our next super duo and bring the thread and needle out. From here, give a nice tight pull, and we're gonna step up from the bottom hole, or the first hole of the Super Duo, to the second hole here. Coming out the second hole, we're gonna repeat this same pattern. Our first Super Duo is already on, so we're gonna do a 15, 11 crystal, 11, 15, then our Super Duo, then repeating, 15, 11, crystal, 11, 15 back through that same super duo that your thread is coming out of. The thread's coming out the top, I'm going to go into the bottom, which is going to bring that around in that nice right angle weave section. Sew through the first seed bead crystal rotation, and then once again, come out through that second super duo. Once you come out through the second super duo, give a nice tight pull on the thread, and then progress or step up from the bottom hole to the first hole. We're going to repeat this again with our seed beads and our crystals, and then our super duo, and then our seed beads, crystal, seed beads again, and back through. Again, we're coming out the top of that super duo. I'm sewing into the bottom of it, and then I'm going to go through the side beads, which are my seed beads and my crystal going to go through that same first hole of the super duo and then we're going to step up to the second hole. So you can see a nice simple chain pattern. This is also great for a matching wrap bracelet if you want to do that. I'm going to do this for a total of eight times to give me a little bit of length. So go ahead and repeat this another five times so you'll have another five groups of your crystals and then we'll get ready to do our bigger section which is going to be towards the front of our necklace. Once you have two or three inches depending on how far you want the chain portion of the necklace we're going to go in and start on our little rounded circles here. To begin we're going to start with a simple pattern. We're in the second hole of our super duo bead and I'm going to start with a 15-0 followed by two 11 O's and then another 15 O. Pick up another super duo and we're going to add four total. We have one there, we're going to add three more. And then our 15, two 11's and another 15, another super duo. And make sure when you're doing this that your super duos do not have any holes that are blocked because you're going to come back through them. Luckily we're building each unit independently so we won't have to worry too much about it. You can solve it right away if you come back to it rather than having to come back down a whole design and then up the other way. Once you have the pattern of 15 to 11 is 15 followed by a super duo, you're going to repeat that three times and then do one more rotation of your seed beads. Uh, 111 to, or sorry, 115 to 11 is 115. 
Coming out the bottom of that super duo, I'm going to take my needle and thread, go into the top of that super duo, and round that out. See how that just gets a nice little circle there of super duos. From here, I'm going to step up, or step back really. I'm going from this second hole of the super duo to the first hole. So you'll see thread going from the first hole to the second. When we did the first rotation, now you're going from the second back to the first. When you're here, once again, give a nice tight pull so you don't see any extra thread. And now we're going to decorate and count or connect to the second hole of all of these super duos around in the circle. To do so, it's going to be a rotation of or a copy of two 15s, one 11, one crystal, one 11, two 15s. Once you have that on your thread and needle, then let it drop down there, and then you're going to sew through the second hole of the next super duo in line. So right on through, and then continue that same pattern. Two 15s, one 11, one crystal, one 11, two 15s into the next super duo. So this time we're catching the second holes. Repeating again. And then catching on again to that final hole there. One more time, we're going to do our two 15s followed by our 11, followed by a crystal, followed by an 11 and two 15s, cleaning up my mat a little bit off the side here. And then, once again, we were coming out of the second hole of that super duo there. We're going to go back into that second hole. And then we're also going to go along the top of this right angle unit that we've created. Going through, you can see I've already gone through the 15, the 11, the crystal. I'm going to go the whole way over through the next super duo. So I'm retracing my thread path all the way over till I'm coming out the opposite super duo. So I'm going to back through here. This is your opportunity to kind of tighten up your thread. Make sure you don't have any thread showing. And then you're going to come out through that far super duo. So opposite of the one that we started with. And that finishes up that nice little loop. From here, we're going to add another one of our connector sections. So to add our connector section, we are going to add a 15, 11, 15, followed by a crystal. Oops, sorry. 15, 11 crystal, followed by an 11 and a 15, then another super duo, and then the same thing, smallest to biggest, and then back down again. Coming out of the bottom of that second super duo, we're going to go into the top to round it out. Just like we were doing as we did that simple chain in the beginning then, you're going to go through the next side grouping of beads, which is your seed beads and your crystal. Step up through your super duo, through that first hole that you've already sewn through, and now once again we're going to step up to the second hole. Now we're on repeat. We grab our two 11s with a 15 on each side, super duo, and continue on to make our second box. If you need to re-watch, you can always rewind this YouTube video. Also, if you want to change this up to mini duos or you want to change up the pattern design to have another two-hold bead, please make sure to give your feedback in the little comments section and help out others that may be looking to use alternatives and tell them what you used and if the counts remained the same for you. Once you have on your three new super duos with the seed beads before and after, you're going back into that same hole, and then once again, stepping up. Super easy, super repetitive, as you gain the length and gain the design of the piece. From here, you're going to do your two 15s, 11 crystal, and repeat the whole way around the outer side. Once you're the whole way around the outer side, you take your thread and needle back through the top section there, and then continue on. Super easy, super repetitive. Just keep going to whatever length you desire. I'm going to make mine about 18 inches, so I'm going to keep going, and I'm going to end up with about 15 or so of my little crystal rings, and then I'll do my downgrade on the back to get a little bit more length. 
So once you're finished with whatever length you want, and I ended up with a total of 12 of my little box units and three inches on each side of my uh, chain portion. I'm coming out the last super duo and I've progressed so that way I am coming out through the second hole. And I'm simply going to grab one 11 OC bead, then one of my wire guardians. I'm gonna go up through one side or one hole of the wire guardian come down through that U-channel shape, go through the other hole, grab my lobster clasp. You can use a button, you can use a pretty clasp part and clasp, up to you. I'm just gonna keep it really simple with a lobster on. Add another 11-0 and go back through the Super Duo from the opposite side. I'm gonna reinforce this again, going back through the side of the Wire Guardian, through the clasp, back down through the other little tube side of the wire guardian, back down through the 11-0. And now I'm gonna sew back down into my project. So I'm going from the top hole of that Super Duo or the second hole, back down to the first. And I'm just gonna retrace this right angle weave a little bit here, going through, and then I'm gonna knot off my thread end. Where I'm gonna knot off my thread end is somewhere where it's gonna be nice and concealed. So here I am next to a pewter bead with that beige thread. I'm gonna sew underneath the bridge thread, sew through it once, sew through it twice, that loop that I've made, pull nice and tight to do a nice sewer's knot. Sew through my project a little bit more, just to tighten up that knot. And then, once I'm out after that 15 0 again, I'm going to go ahead, take my thread zap or my thread burner, burn down the extra thread there, flush next to the project. And that finishes the one side. On the other side here, I'm going to take off the stop bead, put a needle on, and we're going to do a loop of seed beads to attach to our lobster on the other side. On the second side here, I've progressed again to that second hole. I added 14 11 OC beads and I'm gonna sew back through the Super Duo, this time from the top towards the bottom, making that little loop. My clasp then is just gonna hook right into my seed bead loop. If you wanted to, you could have used a wire guard on this side, as well as a jump ring to finish it off, or I'm sorry, a, a soldered ring to finish it off to attach the lobster into. I'm gonna take my needle and thread through there two to three times, making that loop, and then once again, so down into the project, getting rid of the thread, tying off in an inconspicuous place to finish up my necklace and have this nice, wonderful design to wear. So once again, so underneath the bridge thread or the thread that goes from the 15 to the 11, so through that loop once, so through that loop twice. Give a nice tight pull, making sure that knot's nice and tight in there. Take your thread and needle away from that area to burn down so you don't see as much of a knot in the burn down section. Once you finish them, your necklace is beautiful and complete. And remember, if you do make any modifications or changes, please list so in the comments. That way it helps out this beading community and may want to make some similar adjustments when making this beautiful and simple Super Duo necklace. Thanks so much for joining me in this Simple Duo necklace. Remember, if you make any modifications, change up for lots of different crystal shapes or sizes, and even your two-hold bead, make sure to post pictures in our Facebook group for beading and jewelry making. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet already, and hopefully you had fun creating and can't wait to watch the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Give a little thumbs up and continue on with your jewelry making success. Happy beading, everyone.